instructor Brian Oliver again from home during the corona crisis. Uh, I'm going to give you an alternate to stretching. Uh, this stretching is going to be very similar to the last one. I'm going to put a couple extra stretches in there that we didn't do last time that you can add into your routine. A lot of times there's not enough time in class to do a lot, a lot of stretching. Ten minutes is usually tops. So you want to get into some actual martial arts and whatnot, but uh, we'll do some extra ones here, get a longer stretch uh, for people at home, and this is very easy to do, obviously stretching at home as opposed to many of the other things. Okay, so let's start out with the basics. Uh, arms above the head, reach up, do our upper body first. Reach the ceiling there, go to the left, to the right, Hands on the hips, push back, forward, we'll rotate, three rotation with the left, and switch right, and keep our hands on our hips, we're going to look up, and down, chin touch the left shoulder, chin touch your right, let's rotate the head, Three rotations, and switch. Good. Crack the neck. Crack the fingers. In to out. Out to in. In to out, up. Out to in, down. Let's pull your arm tight across your chest. Rotate. Crack your back and ankle. Same time. Switch. That's good. Do some big arm circles. Forward and back. And do a smaller one. Forward and back for shoulders. You're going to wrist, put your thumb on the back of your hand, hold downward in the middle and push with your thumb on the back of the wrist, taking up keto. You're used to this grip, doing this, that's very good. Stretch your wrists out this way because, as you know, there's a lot of wrist blocks in a keto. That's good. And then rotate. Switch, other way. Good. You can pop out the elbows, push down on the elbow, push up, pop. Down, up, switch, down, up, down, up. Good. You do a side to side motion like this with your arms, stretch out with your Rotary cuffs. Clap your hands down your back, clap in the front, in to out, out to in. Like that, like so. Other side. It's good. Bring your arms behind your back, lace your fingers, pull up, and switch. It's good. A couple extra ones there, I think, for the upper body. And that works. All right. Let's do the lower body. Feet shoulder width apart, about one tile square. Reach down the middle, touch the mat. Put your head on your knee. Switch, go to the middle, go double shoulder width, wider, ear to the left, ear to the right, back to the middle, go wider still, if you can, both sides, 
And then from here into your side split. Pull back on your toes to the ceiling so you don't hurt your ankles. Rest on your elbows in front of your body like so. Pull back on your toes so you feel it. You go down as low as you can go. Hold. And up. That's good. Short stance. Keep turning until your front leg rests on your back leg's calf. At that point, you can't move any further, but you should feel it right here. Switch. Keep turning until, again, that's at that point you start feeling it. Down, deep stance. Push on the inside of your knee with your elbow outward. Pull back on your toes, your opposite leg. And switch. That's good. Feet together. Reach down the middle, touch the mat again. Grab your ankles, put your head on your knees. It's a little uncomfortable at first, especially when the weather changes so quickly. Uh, okay. And if you do a couple sets of these, put your head on your knee, it's good. Okay, sit down. Feet out front, pull back the toes, get the stretch, lean in, touch your toes, touch around your toes, put your head on your knee, up, again, down, up, that's good. Put your right leg over your left and rotate your ankle going forward through your rotations. And backwards. Three. Pull your foot up. Put your knee down. Put your head down. Bring your knee across your body. Opposite shoulder. Pull tight. Pull your foot. Opposite shoulder. Cross body. Pull tight. Lock out your knee. Pull back your toes. Pull up. Touch your head to your knee. Let's do it again. Yeah. Cross body. Foot. And up. Good. Switch. Rotate your other ankle, your left going forward through your rotations and back three. Pull your foot up. Push your knee down. Go back your toes, your head and your knee. Move the mat, if you're flexible, pull your knee cross body to your opposite shoulder, tight. Foot, cross body tight. Lock it out, pull up, put your head on your knee. Down, do it again. Shoulder, foot, up. Good. Now, normally we just tuck our foot on the inside like this, which is very easy for beginners. Uh, today we're going to do it slightly differently. We're going to tuck it behind. And we're sitting on our foot. It's on the flat part. So you're actually stretching your ankle at the same time on your back foot. You're going to need this. Go to a traditional Japanese dojo or restaurant or house even, and you're kneeling on the floor there. Down, turn. Go down again. Head to the knee, to the mat, and back. Down to the mat, middle. Ooh. And back. Harder. Same thing, other side. Sit on the foot. Toes facing downward. Stretching out your ankle at the same time as your opposite leg. Down. Turning back. It's 
do it again, down. Come back. 45. Middle. Come back. Anyone can do this. You just gotta practice every day. I'm over 40 myself. I'm still doing this. Okay. Uh, next up, put your feet flat. This is what we were doing. This is what's preparing you for. So you can sit up straight like this. You rest on your feet here and your ankles. You're not hurting yourself. You do it enough and you're comfortable. Um, you can also meditate in this position, which is great. So go ahead and make it a little wider so your butt can hit the floor. And go down. Breathe out. As you do that, you'll feel it pushing on the inside of your ankle here and your muscles contracting. Do that a couple of times. Some deep breaths and then exhale. Be able to push out. And then up. Turn your feet sideways. You can roll out. That's a quick roll out. Good. Some other ones we don't do all the time. We uh, don't always do the one where you lay on the foot forward. So I'm going to go ahead and put my legs sideways and diagonal down. I'm going to put my back leg straight. I'm going to lean in and try and touch my knee to my opposite shoulder here. My leg flat touching my uh, stomach and chest. Reach forward. You should definitely feel it right here on the inside where the leg connects to the hip. You can roll and feel the different areas both sides. When you want to get out of this position, the easiest way is to roll out on the side that you're tucked that leg. Very easy. Switch to the other side. Tuck that leg in. Down, touch the knee, the opposite shoulder, touch the foot to your stomach, your job. Yep. Gonna do that a couple times. Since we're skipping some of the other ones. This is a good stretch that we just don't do a lot. We're trying to be quick with our stretching in school sometimes. Good one. Do both sides. Move on. One more time. Okay. All right. Let's go back to some of the basics. Let's see where was I? Ah. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, oh, I don't want you here. No, done that, done that, done that. I guess that's pretty good. Let's do some of the stretches as we're getting up. So everything has to be slow. You just roll on your belly. You can come up, put your back foot flat, lean in. Keep your back foot on or heel on the mat. And lean in as far as you can go. You'll feel it right here in your back calf muscle stretching. Switch. And again. Ah, I know what I wanted to do. I'm trying to remember the other stretches I wanted to do. Okay. So here's another one that we don't do in the studio all the time, but it's a great one. Okay. Combo, it's active stretching, not static stretching. Active stretching is better for you. You're pulling on your tendons like this and sit like a rubber band back and forth, not just trying to hold it out as long as you can without breaking. That's static stretching when you just try and hold. Active stretching, you're kind of bouncing a little bit. It's actually better for you. Um, study, the new studies are shown. Anyways, so we're going to go down, touch, then we bring our foot, or our, uh, we lay on our back, we bring our Knee up to our shoulder, tight. And then we're going to push from the inside out to stretch out in the middle here. And then we're going to bring it around the other side to the opposite shoulder. Finally, lock out, pull up, 
touch the head of the knee, pull it tight, and back down. That's one set, okay? We'll do that again. Let's do that three times. So shoulder, stretch the inside, outside, lock it out up. It's similar to the one from the sitting position, but I find that you get better gains with this one. Some people it's actually more comfortable for as well. And this part with the inside is good as well. It's good. One more time for good measure since we're skipping a bunch of other stretches. Yeah. And don't forget the other leg. Down. Shoulder. Inside. Outside, pull body tight. Lock out, up, touch. Again, down. Up, feel that. Take your shoulder. Inside. Outside. Up, touch. This is about the speed I normally do them, so they're not, they don't take that long. Yeah. You'll see more gains. Start doing stretches like these. A little uncomfortable. But well worth it. Alright, and we'll just end with our splits. Forward splits this time. The left leg out, toes up towards ceiling, back leg flat, toes laid down on mat, body vertical. Try to keep yourself upright. And switch. Right leg out in front, left leg behind. Same thing. This other leg. And up. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's stand up, turn around, fix our uniform, turn back around, and we'll cut it there.